Yo! What's going on guys? Summer Healy here and I'm gonna make a quick-ish, well not really quick, medium length video uh, breaking down the anatomy of a good trade. We're gonna hop onto my screen right now and I'm gonna show you guys the trade that I took on Wednesday of this week. Let's dive into it. All right guys, so you are looking at my thinkorswim screen right now. This is a peek behind the curtains of what I look at every single day when I trade. Uh, right now we're looking at crude oil, we're looking at the future contract. Um, and so I'm going to give you guys just a, a general breakdown of the kind of trade that I was looking at this week, a trade that I took, and uh, all around is a trade that I'm really proud of because on a management perspective, on a technical perspective, um, it was just balanced and really well done on all fronts. So this is what I would call essentially a 10 out of 10 trade. Now, the interesting part was this was a 10 out of 10 trade, but I didn't make a ton of money on it. I only netted about $145 profit on it. Um, but the reason this is a good trade is uh, one, it was followed by a plan that I had set out the night before. So I was following a thesis that I had and going off of that, I wasn't just trading off of random emotions. Um, I had a set risk and I was looking to make over two times what I was risking. So I had a really solid risk to reward. Um, and I waited for the market to come to me. So this is something that I always preach is that rarely is right now the right time to take a trade. Usually the right time to take a trade is when the market's ready. And so you want to put your orders out there to set yourself up for that trade. And that's exactly what I did. So let's dive in here. We're on the hour chart right now. So each candle represents a one hour period. Um, what we had been seeing is this really tight consolidation in here. And I had no clue whether this was going to break up or break higher. Uh, it's essentially, you know, it's a guessing game at that point. So at this point, I had no thesis until come Monday when we broke out, then we pulled down, we tested the bottom of this consolidation, um, and then we pulled back up again. And so I'm starting to build a little bit of a bias to the long side, but of course anything can happen. So I'm looking for a long, but I'm going to let the price action confirm what I'm feeling. Um, so come Wednesday morning, I was eyeing this, and what we saw here, I'll pull up in the five minute, uh, was a really nice setup. So. On a Wednesday or Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning, um, um, the after hours trading session, we had broken out of this again. It looked like we were going to test these highs. We didn't quite make it and we pulled back down. And uh, come the morning of Wednesday, the trading open, we were falling back into this trend line. Um, and not that I give these trend lines a ton of weight, they're more just a point of reference for me. Uh, I wouldn't buy blindly at one of these lines. I just like them as like an over or under kind of line in the sand. Um, sorry, drinking my green tea. Uh, anyways, so I was looking at that that area to see how the market was going to react there. So this was going to tell me a lot about where the market wanted to go. What we saw here around, uh, I think it was around 740, was that the market pierced below and then that candle closed right above. And so this is a tell telltale sign that the market wants to go higher. We don't know how much higher, uh, but I'm guessing that we're gonna get a pop. So this is what I'm gonna risk off of, is the fact that we had every opportunity to break below this line and that we closed above it. So now I'm watching for the following candles to see how they react. It was right here at seven, I should sorry, it was 7.55 that I got entered into this trade. So I was eyeing these two candles right here. I put out an order at 49.15. Um, I didn't get filled immediately. This candle actually pulled down. I got filled at 49.15, which is the order that I put out there. So I put a preemptive order out there. I didn't enter right into the trade right then and there. I let the market come to me at a price that I felt was fair. It's really important to do business at a price that you think is fair, opposed to what the market deems as fair. So uh, if you're just placing trades haphazardly, the market will uh, make you its bitch, essentially, and uh, you will become the market's chump. So what you want to do is do business at a price that you think is fair. If you don't get filled there, so be it. You wait for another opportunity. So this is what I did. I put my order out there at 49.15. I was risking off the low of this candle. I figured, you know, this is context. If this trade is going to happen, it's going to happen right now. If we hang out around here, this will change the context of the trade. And so if we consolidated or tested the low of this candle and broke it, I didn't want to be in this trade. So that was really the defining point for me. So I'm risking 49.08. So I'm risking seven cents, um, and I ended up clicking out of this trade right at 49.30. So I was looking at this level right here as a place that the market was going to have maybe some difficulty with. 
We ended up peaking above it by uh, about 10 or 12 cents, coming back down, and then as you can see, uh, this trade actually ended up going substantially higher from my entry. And so, you know, I guess you could take off a few points. Maybe my trade exit management wasn't perfect, um, but the reality is my plan was to exit somewhere around this area. I knew what my risk was. I had a target set, and uh, I was trading off of that. So. Rarely do I set hard targets like this. I usually let the market dictate where my exit's gonna be. Um, but this is one of those instances where it was just a, a quick trade for me. It wasn't like this was gonna be a swing trade or a really uh, intense trade. Um, especially when you take into account that we had a ton of drama going on and that we still do have a lot of drama going on with North Korea. And so there was just so much market volatility and really market confusion. Uh, that I didn't, didn't really want to pick sides. And so I took my money and I left. Um, but moral of the story is, if you guys want to make good trades, it starts with this. It starts, one, with finding a place that you want to do business. So figure out what's a place that's fair for you to enter a trade. Don't let the market dictate that. Have a risk to reward that is in your favor. So typically that's going to be at least one to two, maybe one to two and a half or one to three. Anything beyond that is obviously better. Um, and then manage the trade according to your plan. So if you're gonna risk at 49.07 or 49.08, wherever the, the exit was on this, um, you need to really stick to that. So that's what made this trade, in my opinion, uh, one that was uh, all around a 10 out of 10, in my opinion. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys like that. If you want me to do more videos like this, please let me know. Um, I also have lots of videos of trades that you probably shouldn't make. And so I think that could actually be really educational and insightful. So if you guys are curious about seeing some more content and just seeing my good and bad trades, please let me know. And uh, I will talk to you guys in the comments. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content and I'll catch you guys later.